The U.S. government plans to commit $10 million to combat the worst forms of child labor in the cocoa-growing countries of Ivory Coast and Ghana, Magrema Jalo reports. If there's one thing people around the world share in common, it's the love of chocolate. But for some, it's a bitter reality that the main ingredient in chocolate, cocoa, is generally produced by child labor. To create the U.S. Labor Secretary Hilda Solis, along with U.S. Senator Tom Harkin and Congressman Elliot Engel, are trying to change that. Solis recently announced that the U.S. will commit $10 million to fund what she calls a new framework of action to protect children in the cocoa sectors of Ghana and Côte d'Ivoire or Ivory Coast. This project will help Ghana and Côte d'Ivoire build community-based monitoring systems to uncover the worst forms of child labor and get the affected children back into their schools and classrooms and provide them with other services that they need. Solis said the initiative is in support of so-called Harkin Angle Protocol, an agreement signed in 2001 with the cocoa industry to keep children from doing kinds of work they are not suited for. Iowa Senator Harkin, one of the protocol's sponsors, said the initiative is not meant to keep children from working entirely. I worked when I was a kid. I'll bet you worked when you were a kid. I'll bet Elliot did too. I'm talking about work that keeps kids from being in school. Hazardous kinds of work where kids lose fingers, they get scarred for life. These are the worst forms of child labor. Over the nine years since the agreement was signed, officials say there has been some progress, though only people on the ground can say how much. Enoch Mensah is Ghana's Minister of Employment and Social Welfare. See, Hakim Angel has achieved something that cannot be quantified in monetary terms. It has you know, raised a consciousness of the district assemblies in the areas to rise up to their responsibilities. Britain of schools have you know, quadrupled. Cote d'Ivoire's Labour Minister, Emile Guerrieroulou, said his country has also made progress. As part of our national action plan against the worst forms of child labour, we have started various actions. We are satisfied that this initiative is in fact an extension of these actions and ask to strengthen them. New York Congressman Elliot Engel said all of those involved share responsibility for solving the problem in the cocoa growing areas. This initiative, he said, is a new beginning. Uh, make no mistake, much has been done over the past nine years, but today we pledge to redouble our efforts and to not be fully satisfied until the worst forms of child labor are completely eliminated. Representatives of the international chocolate and cocoa industry also pledged to commit $7 million to reduce the number of child laborers by 70 percent over the next 10 years. The global effort to combat child labor gained momentum in 1999 with the International Labor Organization's adoption of an agreement called Convention 182. As of March 2005, 153 countries had ratified it. Mariama Jalo, VOA News.